Alrighty, well, welcome back. This is part two of the GG Telescopic. Okay, so before I start playing with it even more, so to speak, this is what it is. Um, you've got a top piece, a brass piece, you've got a brass ring there, you've got your switch, and that's what it looks like when you get it. Now, okay, so you're still saying the size is too big, whatever. Okay, well, before I show the size, what is really cool is you can unscrew the switch here on the side and screw it in the bottom. So you can use it at the bottom if you like a bottom switch better. That, and as always, it's got the holes in the back and even inside. And you take this little piece off. It's still got holes there too, so just in case the battery is to explode, you know, you are protected because there's a place for the fumes to go. And now when you're using the 6 volt mode, uh, you're going to have two batteries in here. So for that there are holes up here too, so you know, both the batteries are covered. So I am going to take this out because I'm not really a fan of the switch at the bottom that and when I got this I mean I got this this was like the first one made and I just bought it right then and there and I wanted to play with it for a while and see what's going on so there is a little cap that fits in here now that's going to be coming out with this so you won't just have a hole there but I have to put up with the hole okay so what I'm going to do now is I, took the switch out so that's out and take the brass ring out that and they've changed I know I've done something like what I have is pretty much like a prototype right now so the one that's going to be coming out actually has a little thing to protect this as well so you don't have to see the threads so what I'm going to do even now is take off the little brass piece that's right here so I've got that all out now out that comes and I'm going to unscrew the telescopic piece all the way out too okay now all I'm left with is this tube right here. Well, you're probably wondering why I did that. It is because you can take your switch and put it in right here if you wanted to. So the size you can even take off that back piece. Now if you want to use it like that obviously you know since the cap actually goes on this thread over here you can't you know, put it on, it just it wouldn't work. So, I know many of you guys also have the GG transformer, so this is the cap from that. So, you can take the cap from that and just screw it into this, and there you go. Um, I do believe that is the smallest e cigarette in the world, and just to show you guys, it actually does work. Let me just get a battery in here. Now I am using a CR2 battery and this one's actually 3.6 volts. I got it off eBay. So there we go. I've got the switch in the back, the CR2 battery in there. And here is the atomizer. I'm hoping the battery's charged. Okay, so that. Now, if you want to do a size comparison again, comparison again with the 3.7 volt stuff, um, there we go. There it is compared to the Adept Ever. 
compared to the screwdriver. So it is literally half the size. And compared to the little chuck. Oh, there we go. It's all lined up straight now. There we go. So I have pretty much for me this this is the ultimate e-cigarette with all the batteries you can use to it all I don't know I pretty much does it for me so I finally decided to stop buying new things and I am actually so confident this um, I'm selling everything I own well I mean e-cigarette wise anyway I'm getting rid of all my mods so they'll be going up in the classified soon after I let all my friends take a stab at you know whatever they want I'm selling everything so I literally do believe that the GG telescopic and the DPV9 those are the only two things that I actually really need for vaping anymore okay now I'm just gonna leave it like this I'm not gonna put the whole thing back together and I'll show you what the vapor is like and all that stuff in case anyone wants to see that though it doesn't really matter because the vapor always depends on the battery size Got that. So this is going to be at three point seven volts. There you go, I've got it cut down. And again, three point seven volt battery, the one eight six five zero, so compared to the Prodigy, that's what the size is like. And compared to the GG Transformer, there's another size comparison there. And compared to whatever, I don't have anything else left. Okay, just need a bit more juice in there. Though I'm using I'm using English toffee from thickvapeliquid.com. So I'm just got a couple of drops in here. And here we go. So there's no point doing a vapor comparison or throat hit. That's all going to depend on the type of juice you're using. But as far as functionality goes, this pretty much hands down beats everything I have. I can use any single battery I find lying around the place in this. And all you really need as an accessory is the GG transformer cap, uh, a few magnetic spacers, and that's it. You're good to go. Okay, so now just so everyone is clear, I got this about the same time. I got it a week after the GG Transformer because, well, I wanted the very first one and I bought it then and I've had it for about two months. Um, <clears throat> I've had no problems with it. Uh, I read around the forum that someone was saying that the threading mechanism won't work and it'll fail in two months. Well, Mine has yet to fail, and I don't think it will, because, oh, it is supposed to be the immortal e-cigarette. Okay, well, this is Crash, and I can put up a list of batteries that I've tried, but I did show them all, so I don't think it really matters. And keep an eye out on the classifieds, because everything is going up for sale, because don't really need it anymore. I've got the one thing that... It's like my ultimate vaping experience. Alright, well, this is Crash, and I will catch you guys around one of the forums. Oh, and by the way, it's Arthur's Day today, and I know I'm not drinking Guinness, and I'm not a fan. So, cheers. Wow.
and I will catch you guys around the forums. Take care.